All right, hardest button, button. First riff goes like this. Okay, so um, the power chords that you're using is in A5. You're just going to um, pick the fifth string open. First finger is going to bar down on the fourth, third, fourth and third string, really. You can bar it on the second too and play the full A, but we're just doing the A5. So fifth string, fourth string, and third string. And that the way you're going to pick all of these power chords, the picking pattern is the same. You're going to pick fifth string, third string, fourth string, fifth string. So it's going to go like that. Five, three, four, five. Okay. And then you're going to switch to a C5. Same picking pattern with the right hand. Uh, C5 power chord looks like this. First finger on the third fret, fifth string. Third finger on G, fifth fret, fourth string. And pinky down on uh, same fret, fifth fret, third string. C there, okay? Same picking pattern, okay? So we have the A, and I got the C. Okay, and then it goes back to A, then C, A, C. Now you're going to take this shape and you're going to slide it down one fret. And this is going to be a B5, so second finger on second fret, fifth string, third and fourth finger on the fifth fret. I'm sorry, the fourth fret right there, okay? And then you're going to slide up to D5. First finger on fifth fret, fifth string, third finger on the seventh fret, fourth string, pinky on the seventh fret, third string. Same picking like that. Okay, so I'll go through it slowly. So we have the A5, go to C, back to A, C, back to A, go to C, go to the B, slide up to fret 5, D. Okay, you're going to repeat that three times. Then on the fourth time, you're going to play this. A, C, back to A, sound familiar, back to C, A, C, now we're going to go to B, and we're going to flat that B. So on the fourth time, instead of going to D, you go to B flat after you play the B here. And the B flat power chord is just fret one, finger one, string five. Okay, and then finger three and four on fret three. Like that, all right? Now the pre-chorus comes, and um, you're playing the same power chords, but now you're going to strum it. Drum pattern for that pre chorus is just going to be down, down, up, down, 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 the whole time. All right, now the chorus comes and you're just going to strum down the whole time on the chorus. Um, same chords in the chorus as well. So you've got the A5, you're going to strum each one of these chords four times. Go to the C, back to A, C, back to A, go to C, go to B, flat the B. Okay. And you also have that, you know, like that sound, that bass going on. If you want to play that, you can just hit the A string. Okay, then it goes back into the verse, you know, which is the exact same as the other verse. Um, Pre-chorus, same, you know, strum that down, down, up, up, down. I'm sorry, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. That's going to be your strum pattern for there. Uh, chorus, same thing again, 
And then you're going to do, um, when you end, you're just going to end on the A. And that's it. Okay? That's the whole song. Um, for the whole arrangement and the order of the parts, check out the tab at my website and follow along. All right, have fun. It's a great beginner tune.